Dr. Evans, I've been telling the family the wonders that you've worked with other cases like Matthew. It's certainly a pleasure to meet you. I appreciate you taking the time to look into my son's case, Dr. Evans. Oh, well, call me Greg, please. This may sound weird, but are you related to Destiny Evans? She's my sister. Wow. Cool. So you're the hotshot who left home and never looked back. You must have been talking to my brother, Sean. Maybe. Well, there are two sides to every story, and I'm sure you'll hear mine someday. <laughs> but right now, my family's dirty laundry is irrelevant. Well, I certainly agree with that. And here, as promised, doctor, your consulting fee. Uh, let's just focus on the patient for right now, shall we? Now, I've looked over his record. Matthew. My brother's name is Matthew. I've looked over Matthew's records and films. Of course, I'll need to examine him myself. But uh, I do know enough to be able to give an informed opinion. And what do you think? Can you help our son? I can absolutely help your son. You're sure? Well, given the nature of Matthew's injury, I'm very confident. That's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? I don't understand. No other doctor's been as optimistic as you are. Oh, well, they were wrong. Matthew's spinal cord was compressed, but it wasn't severed. But Matthew's regained no sensation from the point of his injury since the accident. As I said, I've reviewed the case. All of the other doctors have told us that if a person doesn't regain feeling within 24 hours, it's highly unlikely. Highly that... unlikely isn't the same as never. Now, what I'd like to do is... Is your optimism based on reality or the size of that check? Rachel. Did I hear you say you were a doctor? This is my family. I'm trying to protect them. Oh, my God, it's you! Hey. It's really you! Hey. I can't believe you're really here. <laughs> you look great, by the way. And you don't have to say it. I know I look famous. <laughs> but how come you never called or emailed to say you were coming? I was supposed to set up this meeting between you and Matthew. How did you find him anyway? This is my big brother. I didn't say anything about him because I wasn't sure he'd come. But he did. Yeah, it's great. He's the bomb. Greg's worked on all kinds of famous people. And he's in a bunch of medical magazines. But I don't get it. How'd this meeting happen without me arranging it? You know, it doesn't really matter, sweetheart. Um, yeah, it kind of does. I don't think Greg came here because you asked him to. I think it has something to do with that check that's on the table with a dose of the Buchanan's fame and fortune thrown in. Is that true? You're not here because I asked you to come? You kidding me? You're absolutely responsible for my being here. You know, Clint Buchanan had been trying to reach me, but I sort of blew him off until I got your email about Matthew and realized this was someone my little sister cared about. Seems we owe Destiny big thanks. Yeah, from the bottom of our heart, your, your brother has given us some hope. You can't help him, right? I'll do my very best to help your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. You did this for me and you didn't tell me? Yeah, it was supposed to be a surprise for me. Oh, it's a surprise, all right. Come on, little sis. Let's go get the money you do. Call me later? As soon as I can. Hey, Destiny. Thanks. Dr. Evans, there's a Buchanan wing on the hospital, so whatever you need, you name it. Will do. You know, Rachel's right. We didn't get just a second opinion. We got a whole bunch of them, and all the doctors said the same thing. Matthew's injury is inoperable. Well, obviously, I need to do my own examination, but I honestly think I can help him. Oh, my God. <laughs> is this really happening? Yeah, it sure is. If you play my family the way you played your little sister, you will be sorry you ever stepped foot back in your hometown.